You were in your room sitting on the bed, your phone was on your hand while you were scrolling your gallery but all of a sudden you get a call from a known number. From some, for some second you stay silent, try to remember the number but you never know that before. Who it can be? You pick the call and forward to your phone to your ear. Hello, you spoke in a cold voice. So rude, it's not fair when Kim, this is how you talk with me after marriage. Your eyes moved out for some seconds, you didn't spoke in embarrassment, say something or you want me to come in your house at that time, hmm? honey say something now, fine and stupid you bite your lips, I I'm so sorry I misunderstood but it's also your mistake you have to tell me it's you, your, com your command over the eyes darling, you hit a head to toy when he call you darling. Um, Jungle, can we meet before our marriage? I mean, if you have time. I actually want to see you. I mean, I saw your pic. That's not like, but I don't ask. Just tell me when and where I will come. Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. If you have time, I swear I didn't want to disturb you. How can it's possible my fiance wants to meet me and I can't come? Everything matters to me but after you. First you came, then others. You blink your eyes, this was the first time someone saying this to you. Um, uh, okay then see you, okay see you and take care, you are so precious to me. You got the call but you were still in shock, throw yourself on the bed, throw yourself on the bed and kick in. It was an arranged marriage, your dad is work for him, he never know Jungkook will send proposal for his daughter, he accepted and you also did not deny it for it cause you have to marry someone, if not him then someone else, then why not him? This happened last week, you are, are not engaged to him yet but he called your fiance maybe he likes to, uh, you did not meet him yet. Just some calls and some pictures. Finally, tomorrow you are going to meet him. Your dad. Hey, wear this dress, but it's in black. I want something different. You sat on the bed while making a sad face. I'm not going. I do not even have a dress. You folded your arms around your waist. Why? Mr. Jungkook is very busy person. If he is coming, then get ready and go. Cause you was the one who asked him. Your dad walk out from your room in anger. You look down the mess you create in your room with your all dresses while deciding one, but look still you can't. I'm not going, that's it. You are poor, you know that, but that thing never hurt you till now. You grab your phone in anger and send a message to him, then you get up and walk towards your balcony for some fresh airs. Uh, you spent almost an hour there. A glass of juice was in your hand when you looked down. You twist your eyebrows. Uh, there are some black cars who stop right in the front of your house. You never seen those before. Your hair was open. You flip your hair's neck to back, then walk inside your room while whispering. Now who are those? You walk inside your room again when you check your phone he look he did not even ask me why he just seen my message why you even seen then huh that's why i came honey to ask you why you didn't want to go he said while leaning against the door frame you blink your eyes on a disbelief that you look at look down i don't know Tell me, I won't ask second time. He walked towards you. Oh, my health is not good. Just that is why. You were starting not to tell him the real reason. He stopped some inches away from you. Stop lying, honey. He looked around the room. You mess, your, your messy room was amazing to tell him the reality. Yeah. You immediately grabbed your dress from the floor and he stopped you when he can stand in the front of you. First held my hand, then I will tell you. His expression was same, he did not even change a bit the sm same smile without no worries, like he was going to win all his rounds. He bent down to your face and spoke near your ear, you look beautiful whatever you wear, but cause 
I can't see you sad, then let's go for shopping first. You look at him while your face was red like pink cake. No, I didn't want to go anywhere. Uh, he said, bend down to you. This time he didn't spoke anything, just make a little eye contact. What are you doing, Jungkook? I don't know, even did anything yet, honey. It was a statement. He walked out while carrying you in his arms. He was in the car with him when it was his mansion uh, where the car stopped, not any kind of shopping mall. You look at him, it is a mansion, you honey, our mansion. He walked out from the car before his car opened the door for you. He opened it, come out, honey. You step out. You was shocked after seeing a big mansion it's so beautiful not more than you you immediately look at him now come time skip at his room you walk inside his room he was behind you but there was something strange which makes you scared there was a pictures of your in the wall and there was your high school picture it's my picture he nodded and walked towards the wardrobe. Jungo, from where you get that pic, uh, you walked towards him. He was facing his back. He opened the wardrobe and again make you shock. You buy all of this in one week. You do not even know what to say. His quietness was giving you bad signs. He turned to you. Yep, it's your pic and I quake it when we was in the same school. But I don't know why all of this in one week. It's take more than eight years. same school but i don't remember you and eight years seriously uh, that was your reaction i was that guy you slapped in the front of whole campus while rejecting me I you was that guy your heart beat stop but your breath become faster he softly spoke for not making you more sad it was over past, but my love was pure, even you didn't let me to have you, but I find you again because I really love you. On that time, I didn't want to be in love. I'm so sorry. Did I told you to apologize to me? It was just one-sided love. That was not your mistake. Flashback, you was walking towards your class. This was the fifth day of your school. And again, you felt someone was staring at you. Immediately looked back, but this time, he was standing behind you. Yeah, I did that pic. You walked towards him, he pulled his head up to his head. I delete my pic. You stand on your toy in the front of him. What if I don't, then what will you do? I said, I delete my pic. He rubbed his nose on yours and spoke near your lips. Not at all, darling. He immediately pushed him. How dare you to call me by that word? He grabbed your elbow. Girl, listen to me. You are my. I call you whatever I like. Just keep this in your mind. After two days, you was in your library and happily spending your time there until this happened. He was coming towards you with a bouquet of flowers in his hand. That was the first time everyone was gossiping about you and him. That was so embarrassing for you because you came here for study, not for all that kind of things. You know how your dad worked day and night for you. Hey, please stop. Why and I really love you. Will you be my... You do not let him to complete his sentence and give a hard slap on his face. He was taking a heavy breath. I'm not your puppet. I am a human, so stop forcing me. You are from a rich family, but I am not. You can do whatever you want, but I can, so please stay away from me. Everyone was shocked, but Jungkook was silent. His pain was just he know how to control. He came in your home. Your mood was still the same from the morning. What happened? That I want to change the school again. But why you change your last school one week ago and now again? I'm sorry, Dad. This will be the last time. I swear. I I just thought I won't be a just there. Your dad worked for him as a driver, and the all past year you complete your studies and he become a mafia king. But his one and the only mission is still unprocessed, and it's about to find you. He was in the car when your dad picked your call while driving. Uh, dad, where are you when you come home? Why everything is alright, daughter? Tell me. Yeah, everything is fine. I just saw nightmare again. I'm scared. Seriously? 
he was listening everything he was a little confused after seeing after listening your voice he was sure it was your voice but still he spoke when your dad got the call she was your daughter he asked mr jindam cook she was scared turn your car towards your home what if something happened to her then no boss it's okay it's not her first time i want to see your daughter he directly said your dad stopped the car in shock what uh, i mean why boss her name is wild kim right yes that's my daughter's name then stop asking me questions and start the car i want to see him because i know her before back to story he placed the mug of coffee on the table while what happened to you now he sat beside you but the guilt inside you was too much are not you angry on me why would i he spoke while kissing your hairs I- i'm sorry i'm really sorry this time he was really guilty Stop it, Vyan. I have to say sorry. I was forcing you. It was my mistake, not yours. Now? Now. Now drink your coffee before it get cold. Oh, yeah. The time skip next to it. Today is the second day of your marriage. You was in the beach with him and there was no one except you and him. And that thing was making you confused. What my wife is thinking right now. His hand was on your waist. It is a coincidence that no one come here except us. He giggled and pulled you closer by your waist. I ran the area for a day, but why? He gave a peek on your cheek. I will tell you if you give me a kiss. No, I won't. He, you take back steps. Catch me first, then I will think about it. Why well, I stop? I said. He was running behind you. He ran towards you and pulled you closer by your waist. You turned to him. It's not fair. Now nah, it is. Now it's your turn, honey. The end of the Bible to care.